Okay, this game was sent to me. I'm not going to tell you who by. Great side. <laughs> no, just kidding. This was a great, apparently a good game. So we'll give this. I mean, I can't, I can't really call it a low Elo Legends game either, because they're not. I mean, Great Scythe is, what, 14, 1500 ELO? I think he varies from, like, the 15... He's probably around average, about 1500 ELO. So, probably, you know, good enough to take on Passy, but, you know, that's not hard, so. Some spicy toxicity. That's what we like to see. We like a little bit of spice with our toxic. Great Scythe, the Eternal, 1500 ELO. I mean, you've got to watch a Great Scythe game every now and then, haven't you? You've got to watch a Great Scythe game every now and then. So let's have a look. See, let's see what's going on right now. So we've got Germany on the right side of the map. We've got Great Scythe doing his thing. Starting with a TP because, you know, he likes doing his industrials. So he likes all those juicy cards. None of this, none of this, you know, Kaiser Klein meta wanting to go for a for a hunting dogs at the start. Nah, 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 nah. We're playing D, we're playing D, baby. We want cards, all right? We want, we want XP shit, kit. Shipment curves, all that good stuff. So, there's a the TP. There's 75 wood. And look at this. He might be 1500 ELO, but his mathematics is 2k ELO. Look at that. 26 plus 75 is going to be 101. And he's going to get a house out of that. Although, it's yeah. going to slow him down. And he's not even building it with oh, a God. settler wagon. Hi. Someone on YouTube said this whole high R stuff is a bit gay. Do you know what we say to him? It will. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Spam him free straight away. You gotta love, you gotta love those 14, 1500 ELO players, man. Like, even messing up the age one. You got to love it. I would wipe the floor with you, Lionheart. Well, Passy, if you want to bring it on, I think if you look at the evidence going back throughout the streams and our history of us two playing together. I, I think it's probably fair to say I'm about 90% win ratio over you, so... But hey, man, if you think you've improved and you want to go some... I pop by and get to see a risotto build wreck. <laughs> okay, we've got this guy. Mafias. In the left side playing as... USA considered a very lame sieve at the moment, but we don't see two Russia block houses. We do see this card, but that's not that great. So, doesn't really look like a lame deck to me. So I don't think you can consider USA OP with this deck. So what's he gone for first? He's gone for capitalism, and now he's going for bank. And like Risotto said, this is some uh, crazy age one build by him. He's, got, he's even got a market down. Hunting Dogs is coming in. So I don't know how many villagers he had on gold there, but he obviously had enough to be able to get a bank on top of this. Obviously went for a starting TP as well. No Chinese immigrants. I mean, whenever you do the capitalism build with a one bank, surely you do Chinese immigrants just because it's better, right? I mean, you don't get the bank quite that quickly. That is, a, that is a nice gold trickle right now. The, the capitalism and bank. Look at that. It's going to overtake his food at this rate. Orders. Okay, going to be picking up how on the show need Tomahawk. Second TP going down for Great Scythe. Like I said, he likes he likes to suckle on the teeth of that XP curve. Give me cards. Give me. Look at that deck. Look at that. Look at that Chad deck. He don't give a fuck. This guy does not give a fuck. He's saying, I know you can look at my deck. I know you know what I'm going to do. But he don't care. He just does not care. He's got all the cavalry attacks. He has team house of... I'm not even going to... That's just... I don't even know how you say that word. Land grab. <laughs> A classic in all German decks. Does have guild artisans. Good card. Six settler wagons. He has higher holy Roman army. Eight Jaegers, five black riders, and six Landschnecht. 
Interesting. Okay, he's age two. He's going up with 700 gold. We've got the church, a 2 TP church. Wow, he really does want all of that juicy XP. He's going to be aging up. Three settler wagons coming in behind it. Oh, brilliant. And then I imagine we'll see 1k gold soon after. Matthews, on the other hand, just chills in. He's just going up in his own good old time. He's timing this Irish immigrants with going past five minutes. Definitely has gone past five minutes. So he's going to get four villagers out of that. Orders. So he's on 20 villagers at the moment. Don't know how many... He... We saw hunting dogs, but don't know if he's got anything else yet. He's got a bank, capitalism, one TP still. At attention. There's a nice little army here. It's very cute. Not sure uh, these two guys would have much in common with each other. That could be an awkward conversation. So, uh, what's your plans over here? Oh, you know, not much. Just trading, all that good stuff. Definitely not going to uh, commit any genocides or anything like that, so don't worry. Oh, okay, great, great. Yeah, nice, nice. Forward, Shoots him in the back. March. Anyways. Okay, Bull's Head come down now. Did we see this card? Okay, we haven't seen Advanced Saloon yet. Aged up with the Virginia. <laughs> Straight into age three. I did see that. He he balanced his economy so he had an Orders. equal amount on food and gold. I like how he's just, he's again, not bothering to get any wood because he knows that he can get away with... Basically, he was on 20 bills, right, when he shipped the, uh, the Irish immigrants. Probably could have overpopped before... You know, built a couple in transition or stacked a couple whilst he was aging. But looks like he just ages up straight away anyway, so that worked well. There comes State Capital. Is he going to decide to use the fast age up? He could get away with it and get most of the value out of it. But maybe not. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to see an industrial, I think. Wow. So Hamiltonian economics behind this as well. Okay, dokely. So both these guys going super greedy. Classic, just a classic FI standoff. You, I mean, I mean, uh, even I wouldn't want to be in a fast industrial standoff against the great, great side. The great, great, great side. Because that is just, you're yes. playing with fire then. You know, man knows what he's doing in, in industrial age. And, and he does this every day, baby. Did he just seriously age up with a TC wagon? Did he... Did he go into age three with a, with a TC wagon? He did, didn't he? I mean, it could work. That could work well together if you use that card. So playing super defensive. There's the 1k gold. It's going to be a pretty fast industrial timing. Anyone who, who wants to know how to beat Great Sai, he does this every game, right? He's basically, he's basically the Piroshiki of the Germany, of the German world. You literally just have to make five cab. Just make five cab. I mean, make more than that. Just make five cab. Raid him. Make him ship dops and all that sort of stuff. And just and just get a couple of falconets in age three and fuck him up. Like it's honestly that easy. It's honestly that easy. Okay, so he's now shipping one k wood to get all of the infrastructure down. Mathis, on the other hand, he's just got Hamiltonian economics in. Has he shipped anything else? Nope. He did go with the Kentucky age up to three and he's almost getting ready to go age four risotto is this a good is this good time is this good timing to get to industrial oh wow so he's gonna ship stage host so he'll probably be in at like sort of 10 minutes so actually i forgot he didn't he didn't use state capital to get into age three so now gonna be using this for age four that's gonna be scary and for anyone who doesn't know, the, this, the state capital, that tech that ages you up fast, isn't just, just age you up fast. It doubles your XP Hello. crates. And you obviously get more XP crates the higher the age you go. So using it for industrial is better because you get more XP. So yeah, this is good. this is actually really scary. This is kind of like an... I don't know. No, I mean, I've never seen a build like this before. You obviously seen A's do those crazy industrials. So he's in the industrial before 10 minutes. Ah, so he's doing the classic A's. He's going for the Morris Canal. 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 Yes. Canal. 
Orders? Orders. Yeah, that's going to be more XP yes. putting down. Look, look, here we go. Look, 400 XP doubled. So he's got 800 XP lying on the floor. Yeah. He's going to put down estates, which gives him a build XP of 120. This gives him a build XP of 300. <laughs> 300 build XP. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's going to have about three... He's going to be have about three shipments stacked. Putting all the limb down. I think it's worth getting a meeting house down. Like, you definitely want to use one of those... One of those, uh... Buildings on a meeting house. There you go. Oh, wow. Did he seriously just... Sh did he just ship Virginia Plan? Did I just see that right? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. This is this is just mental. This is actually just mental. Like, whoa. Oh, he sh no, he shipped uh this card. New Jersey Seaports. Oh wow, look at his Oh my goodness me! The cheek of it! <laughs> Please tell me we're gonna see a fast in uh, fast imperial. Oh, let's go! Let's go. I want to have a look at Great Scythe, but this is way too more. This is way more interesting. Orders. Man's going up to Imperial. <laughs> Yo, this is this is like the fastest Imperial you could probably do, realistically. Oh, he's just run out of, of food. Okay, just buy 100 food back. You'll be fine. No way. No way. That's so good. That's so cool. Oh my goodness me. What's he going up with? New York. I don't know what that does. There's only one age five I ever go. Oh, great side. Great side with the bluff. Great side with the bluff. Are you ready? Damn. That's uh, that's some mind games going on there. And look how fast these uh, these ones come out as well. Hello. Such a good industrial, t you know, with that Maurice Canal. Maurice, I can't even say it properly. It's, it's because it's like sometimes English is weird. Canal, Morris Canal. What are my targets? Wow, he's going. So now he's so okay. So now the build is all about. Okay, I like this. So now it's all about outlaws. Is that right? Do they shadow tech? They don't shadow tech. But the mercenaries would, right? The mercenaries... Okay, there's the outlaw upgrade, Wild West. I was going to say, so do mercenaries shadow tech? Will mercenaries shadow tech to age 5? Because if they do, that is that is actually insane. But he's going up with these... He's doing some outlaw stuff. Minutemen coming in. The first set of Minutemen at 13 minutes. Yes. Look at this timing. Oh my god. You could really, you could basically do a, this is a 13 minute Imperial. 13 minute Imperial. There's 500 XP. There is another upgrade to get from the saloon. But then, but in, with Imperial, there might even be another one. I think there might be one more after this. What you need? Wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 500 HP. Right, someone in chat confirm, right? So he did he did one but do these shadow tech they must shadow tech. They must shadow tech into Imperial then. Five hundred HP. Sixty seven bullseye shot and forty five range attack. I'm doing the soy boy face right now. You tech into Shadow Tech line. Yeah, so Wild West does the first tech and then it Shadow Techs into the Imperial Age. Oh, this is this is so good. It's only 14 minutes, for, don't forget. Cowboys are somehow getting built really fast now as well. Am I missing something here? So he's aged up. This is what it gives him. The New York gives him the Zuave, which is a really good unit, by the way. And Hamiltonian's own. Two little bombards and four Napoleon guns. Mercenary hit points and all action damage plus 25%. Wow. Wow. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. This is hilarious. So he gets to ship everything again because he reached Imperial. Would actually be good to send that, by the way. 
Like, imagine, look at Kentucky Hunters. Imagine how good that's going to be in the late game as well. He's going to be able to ship like 20 of them. <laughs> oh, this is such a good build. What the hell? I've got to try this on the ladder now. Unfortunately, at my level, not that this is a bad level at all, but at my level, you're going to have to somehow defend yourself. So whether you get fought down or something like that. Unless your opponent completely turtles up. What you need? 507 HP. <laughs> Let's have a look over Great Scythe. Yeah, he's nowhere near going Inferior, obviously. He, he, he doesn't want any of that beef. Yeah. The Cowboys have the same attack as the Veteran War Wagon and almost the same HP. This is a War Wagon, which costs 300 resources. He's doing his thing. Okay, Guard War Wagon's now coming in. The bullseye has a 16 range on it. Wow. This is so good. Great side from 48 bills. More like 58. Oh, no. He's got fifth. He's got 14 of them. <laughs> so he shipped the six settler wagons. Nice. So add another 14 onto that. More like uh, 63, 64. Sneaking. Don't forget, this guy, he sneaked in Hamiltonian economics. So, you know, his 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 eco's decent. He's got two factories. I mean, his eco's not that great. He's only on 32 bills, but, you know, Hamiltonian's in. And who needs, who needs eco when you've got cowboys, imperial cowboys, you know? Um, I definitely think it's worth putting your factory on heavy cannons. I'm ready. Maybe not. I, 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 don't, I don't even know anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just in awe. You definitely want four cauldrons as well in your deck, I think. Having four cauldrons would be nice here. Like, for all this bullshit. Like, imagine just shipping fast four cauldrons. Imagine just four cauldrons coming out right now. What you need? That's all you need. Cauldrons and cowboys. <laughs> Arsenal coming in. He wants that ranged cavalry caracol. Yeah, there it is being spammed. Funny thing is, it's probably good that the state capital goes down because you can just rebuild it for like 300 wood and it gives you 300 XP. So take it down. Take as many of them as you want down. I'll just rebuild it and get another 300 XP. There it is. Range carry carry guard coming in. I wonder if that affects the bullseye. If that affects the bullseye as well, that's really good. But yeah, 12 range attacks. Not great, but 14 is decent. Okay, now we're pushing in. I'm ready. Imperial Minutemen. They're actually called Imperial Minutemen. 46 attack, 306 HP. That's hilarious. Here we go. And, uh... And, uh... Wow. Uh... I thought that was going to be quite close, but, uh... That's not close in the slightest. <laughs> that's not even a little bit close. That's not even... This Howden's show need from the treasure. It's getting involved this whole game and uh yeah um that just happened and uh that look how much stacked gold there is right now well forget what i said about culverins forget anything i said about culverins imperial cowboys 51 ranged attack Oh, oh, oh boy, they get spilt so quick. Look, this is th that upgrades them again. That upgrades them again. So th they must get another upgrade then. That that uh, refreshing beverages is the one that um, does the bullseye attack. It makes it go uh, get up quicker. Now shipping that thing. That thing does the HP for saloons, but allows you to make two of them. But an extra two, but is there any point when you can just make them that quickly? Hopefully this game doesn't I'm finish ready. before we actually see what the stats are on this. Look at this. It's like 10%. Oh, yeah. Only 
Still an extra 20 hit points, 30 hit points, and an extra couple damage there. These guys do have 0.5 multiplier versus villagers, but an extra 2 multiplier versus artillery. They have 20% range resist, so their weakness is obviously skirmishes, but... It, it, just fuck you, you know? <laughs> because why not? Imperial Minutemen was funny though. I really liked how strong the Imperial Minutemen were. This has been too funny. Mathias, thank you for sending this over. What I, I this this thoroughly cheered me right up. I love this. I love how the heavy cannon has no negative multiplier versus cavalry. So it really does do 200 bombard attack. <laughs> With four area effect. Heavy cannons are so good, man. Scores, like, the score does not reflect how badly Grey Scythe is getting wrecked right now. Like, it's not taken into consideration that the shadow tech on these cowboys is is worth like 20 score, 20k score right now. Yo, Stephen Wolf, you absolute legend. Anyone who doesn't know, yes, this is Stephen Wolf, by the way. Uh, wow, GG. That was. What thank you for sending that over. Don't thank me for casting. Thank you for sending that one over. That's exactly what I'm talking about when I enjoy yes. watching those type of games because that was just such a unique game. And it's at what Elo level is this? 14, 1500 Elo. Drastic coming in with that Spain brain of his. Now that what you just said, Drastic, makes perfect sense why you play Spain. <laughs> Not sure what was that. What's that big uh, bit? What's that big chunk there? Oh, that was from um, getting the resource crates from uh, Morris Canal, right? Wow. Let me take a look at the vigil population. Fan Dabba Dozy. That was a fantastic build. You pulled it off. And and that's the problem. When, you, when you're great side doing a fast industrial, and when you're so predictable like that, you can get away with those really greedy builds. Just well played, good sir. That that round of applause was for you. His toe, you want to have a look at the deck? There's the deck. Imagine <laughs> 21 skirmishes. And uh, if you ship Kentucky Hunters right now, right, um, and you got the five Renegados, the Renegados would be shadow teched as well because they're outlaws, right? So imagine how strong those Renegados are. They're Imperial Skirms, Imperial Outlaw Skirms. <laughs> ah, brilliant. 